Hi everyone, welcome back to our English enrichment lessons with teacher Rick. So last week we had a look at the living room and the dining room and I told you that this week is time for the kitchen. Kitchen, very very important room in the house, right? So it's where we cook our meals and sometimes where we eat too, okay? So that's the kitchen. Let's just have a look at the word again and review the word, okay? So how do we write kitchen? K-I-T-C-H-E-N. Kitchen. Kitchen. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Kitchen. Okay, good. One more time. Kitchen. Okay, good. Remember, don't mix up with chicken. Okay, we have kitchen and we have chicken. We can cook the chicken in the kitchen. Okay? Don't forget, don't get confused. You have chicken and we have kitchen. Kitchen. Let's just practice one more time. Kitchen. Good. So now we're going to, to practice with I cook chicken in the kitchen. Okay? Do you think you can say this sentence? I cook chicken in the chicken. <laughs> no. I cook chicken in the kitchen. Let's try. I cook chicken in the kitchen. Okay. Not easy, right? I cook chicken in the kitchen. Okay? Don't get confused. Chicken, we eat. Kitchen, it's where we cook the chicken. Okay? So now let's have a look at what do we have in the kitchen. So we're going to start with here we have cold things. It's called the fridge. Fridge. So the word actually is refrigerator. Refrigerator. But because it's very long, usually people just call it the fridge. Okay? Let's have a look at the two, the two words. So first, the big one, refrigerator. R-E-F-R-I-D-G-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E refrigerator. But this is very long, okay? So we're just going to practice the short version. So we can call, we can also call it just the fridge. 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 F R I D G E. Fridge. Fridge. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Fridge. Good. One more time. Fridge. Okay, that's it. Very good. So we have the fridge and we have the freezer. So the freezer is that part that very very cold it's so cold that you make ice out of water okay so if you have water in the fridge you have cold water if you put water in the freezer you get ice okay <clears throat> so that we call the freezer freezer and how do we write freezer f r Double E, Z, or Z, E, R. Freezer. Freezer. Okay, so to freeze, it's like 
so cold that you get ice and snow. Okay? Freezer. Let's practice. Freezer. Good. One more time. Freezer. Okay, very good. So the fridge and the freezer. And then we have we need some heat to cook, right? So we have the stove. Stove and the oven. Some people don't have an oven. Uh, but many times you have the stove and the oven. Okay, so the stove is the top part where you can cook with the pan, the pot. Okay, so we call that the stove. S T O V E. Stove. Good, just one more time. Stove. Okay, and then we have the oven. So the oven usually is under the stove and it's where you can bake a cake or bake bread or uh, roast a chicken or a turkey or bake a pie. Okay, so we do that in the oven. Oven. O V E N. Oven. Hear attention. It's not oven, not oven, it's oven. Oven. Okay? O V E N. Oven. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Oven. Good. One more time. Oven. That's it. So we have the stove is on top, and then we have the oven to bake the cake, for example. Or some biscuits, some cookies. Okay, we also bake cookies in the oven. Um, and now many people also have a small oven just to heat the food. We can we call that a microwave. Microwave, just microwave or microwave oven because it's also like that. It's, it's an oven but different one, okay? Usually smaller and it works in a different way. So we call it a microwave. Microwave. M I C R O W A V E. Microwave. And you can also say microwave oven, okay? But usually we just say microwave. You already know that it's an oven, okay? So now let's just practice the word. Repeat after me. Microwave. Good. One more time. Microwave. Okay, that's good. So the microwave. Um, and sometimes we can also have a toaster. Not sure in Thailand if it's very popular, but in Europe and in America, most people have a toaster so that they can make toasts. Okay, so a toaster is where you toast the bread so you can have a toast. Toaster. T-O-A-S-T-E-R. Toaster. Good, just one more time. Toaster. Okay, that's it. Very good. And then we can have this. It's called a kettle. A kettle to heat water. For example, if you want to make tea, or if you want to make coffee, or if you're cooking and you need hot water, boiling water, okay, you can have a Kettle. How do we write? K E double T L E. Kettle. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Kettle. Good. Just one more time. Kettle. 
our kind. That's it. So kettle to heat water, for example, to make tea or to make some coffee or something like that. And here in Thailand and in Asia, people eat a lot of rice. So many people have a rice cooker. Rice cooker. So this is to cook rice. So we call it a rice cooker. Very easy. You already know the word. So rice, R-I-C-E. Rice. And then cooker, to cook the rice, okay? Cooker, C-O-O-K-E-R. Rice cooker. Just one more time. Rice cooker. Okay, that's it. Very good. And then just a few more things. You already know this. So to cook, you might use a pot. P-O-T. Pot. Good. Just one more time. Pot. Good. And a pan or frying pan. Okay, so the pan is to fry. You can fry some eggs or whatever you want. Okay, so we call it a frying pan. Frying pan. Or just pan. Okay, but let's have a look at the frying pan. Okay, frying. F R Y I N G. Frying. And then pan. P A N. Okay, so the pan. We usually use the pan to fry. So we call it a frying pan. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Frying pan. Good. Just one more time. Frying pan. Okay. That's it. Very good. Um... <clears throat> Now, um, you can also have a blender. Blender. So, a blender, for example, if you want to make a smoothie or a milkshake or some fruit juice, okay? you can use the blender. It goes and you have a milkshake or a smoothie. Okay, so we call that a blender. B L E N D E R. Blender. Good, just one more time. Blender. Okay, that's it. Very good. So there is one problem. When you cook, you get dirty pots, dirty pans, dirty plates. So a lot of dirty things. You need to wash them, right? So we need a sink. So we call that a sink. Just like in the bathroom. Remember, in the bathroom, so the Americans, they call it sink to the one in the bathroom too. The British, in the bathroom, they call wash basin. In the kitchen, they call it sink. Okay, so in the kitchen, it's sink sink no difference just one word sink okay let's just practice this one again so s-i-n-k sink good just one more time sink good or you can call it the kitchen sink okay if you want to make sure that you know that people know you're talking about the kitchen and not the bathroom Okay, so you can also call it the kitchen sink. Okay, and um, sometimes, or in some houses, you also have a dish washer. The dish washer. So to wash the dishes. You can wash the dishes in the sink if you have no dishwasher, or you have this wonderful machine where you put the dishes and they come out clean. So we call it the dish 
washer. Dish washer. D I S H W A S H E R. Okay, so dish is like plate and then washer because it washes the dish. Okay, so we call it the dish washer because it washes the dishes. So now let's practice the word, okay? Dish washer. Repeat after me. Dish washer. Good, just one more time. Dish washer. Okay, that's good. And then to wash the clothes, we have a washing machine. Okay, we call that a washing machine. So some people have the washing machine in the kitchen, some people have the washing machine in the bathroom, or outside, in the balcony, okay? So you can have the washing machine in different rooms in the house, okay? Depends. So, um, I don't know. I have my washing machine in the kitchen. Maybe you have the washing machine in the bathroom. I don't know. You can have uh, the washing machine in different rooms in the house. And so the washing machine is to wash the clothes. Okay? So washing. W-A-S-H-I-N-G. Washing. And then machine. M A C H I N E. Machine. Okay? Here in machine, the C H, the sound is like S H. Okay? Just the sh. It's not the normal sound ch. It's not machine. No. So here it's an exception. Usually C H is ch, but in machine, it's just a sh. Like the S H. Okay? So, washing machine. Let's practice. Washing machine. Good. Just one more time. Washing machine. Okay. Very good. And just two or three more things. So, in the kitchen, you need a space to store the plates, the bowls, the glasses. <clears throat> pots and pans, so you need a cupboard, cupboard, okay, so it's usually like this, usually they are closed, and you can put the pans inside, the glasses, and we call it a cupboard, C-U-P-E-O-A-R-D, cupboard, okay, the P you don't hear it. It's there, but you don't say it. It's not covered. No, covered. Let's practice. Covered. Good. Just one more time. Covered. Okay. Very good. And then we have also the kitchen counter. So the kitchen counter. It's a little bit like the table. So it's this, right? You need the space to put the things when you're chopping vegetables or cooking. Uh, so you need some space, some room to put the things. So it's the kitchen counter. Okay, so kitchen, you already know the word, right? Kitchen and then counter. C-O-U-N-T-R. Counter. Kitchen counter. Good, just one more time. Kitchen counter. Okay, good. So you have the kitchen counter and then you have other counters. For example, in a shop, you also have the counter, right? Uh, and in other places. So when it's in the kitchen, you say kitchen counter. And I think that's all for today. We've seen a lot of things we have in the kitchen. 
Uh, so this week you have a worksheet, okay? A worksheet about the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. So don't forget, do your homework, the worksheet, and send, take a picture and send it to me so I can check your homework, okay? Uh, and that's all for today. We will see each other again next week with another video. Bye-bye. See you next week.